Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow ground cherries in Aero Garden Bounty. This variety is called Aunt Molly's. I am planning to grow only 3 plants in Bounty. Just to keep some backup, I am starting with 2 seeds in each pod and I will start with 6 pods. Alright, my garden is ready with 6 pods and 2 seeds in each pod. Let's see how it goes. It's been 17 days. Germination and initial development is little bit slow. That took about 10 days for germination. Each plant is growing differently. Two plants developed good real leaves already, but the remaining seeds are at the very beginning stage of developing. Germination rate also low. Only one out of two seeds germinated in five pods and no germination in sixth pod. Good that I started with many seeds. Day 25, plants picked up the growth. Two plants are considerably big. Other two plants are comparatively small but they are coming up nice. Now I am going to transfer two of these plants to harvest. I am moving the bigger plants. Ok, I just rearranged the pods. Now I have three plants in this bounty, one in the center and two on the edges. Day 29, plants are growing fast. Leaves are getting big. And I see some flower birds too. I see flower birds on all three plants. That's very exciting. Day 32, bird on this plant is getting big. It is turning downwards. Birds on other plants are still small. Plants developing lot of new branches. Day 35, plants are coming up very nice. I see lots of birds and the first bird turned into flower. I see birds on lot of branches. Day 40, I am already seeing a small bulb. This is where the ground cherries are growing. What we see here is just the husk. Ground cherries will grow inside the husk. I see flowers on all plants. Day 49, plants are growing bushy, bulbs are growing big. All plants have lots of birds, flowers and some small ground cherries. Day 73, all plants have lots of ground cherries, lots of flowers and lots of birds. Some of the big branches have about 10 ground cherries on each. I counted more than 100 ground cherries from these three plants together. Nothing is getting ripened yet. Day 74, I am checking every day if any of these ground cherries started ripening. The husk will dry up as the ground cherries are ripening. But nothing yet. Day 
Day 78. Today I saw some ground cherries fell off. Here are the first four ground cherries that fell off. I see the husk is very dry. Removing the husk. Two ground cherries are yellow but the other two are mostly green. I will give them a day or two so that they will ripe well and taste better. Day 79. Two more ground cherries fell off. Plants are producing more and more flower birds and flowers. Day 84. Plants are still growing big and producing more ground cherries. I have couple of ground cherries fell off today. Removing the husk. Wow, this one is completely yellow. It's fully ripened. I am cutting a fully ripened ground cherry just to see how it looks inside. Time to taste. The taste is amazing. It is very sweet and a perfect fruit. Day 93. Plants are still growing big and producing lots of ground cherries. I am getting 3 to 4 ground cherries every single day. I am seeing hundreds of ground cherries on 3 plants together. The branches are crossing each other nicely. Even though the plants have lots of branches and they are crossing each other, plants are not really overcrowded. Anyways, I am removing the older leaves once in a week. Day 101. Some branches are getting really tall, all the way to 2 feet. And the ground cherries are all over. Day 122. Plants are doing great. I got lots of cherries from last two days. Overall, I am enjoying growing these ground cherries in Aero Garden Bounty. We don't have lot of choice to grow fruits in Aero Garden. The ground cherry is a great choice to grow fruits in Aero Garden. I am getting 3 to 4 ground cherries every single day for last 40 days and the fruits are consistently very tasty. These plants are very low in maintenance. Some branches outgrew the lights and I pruned them. I have been removing the older leaves once in a week. I have been feeding these plants with aerogoden nutrients as suggested. That's pretty much all the maintenance I have been doing. I definitely recommend growing these ground cherries in aerogoden at least once to enjoy some fruits grown indoors. That is all for now. Thanks for watching. Happy Aero Gardening.